The region of the north of Provence and the foot of the Alps is one of the most popular tourist summer destinations. There are many ancient hilltop villages to visit, some with extraordinary views and places to stay. Here you can eat in rustic and peaceful surroundings. I am enjoying my visit to the Provençal farmer's market of Dignes-les-Bains. The asparagus is at its best, and the local cook prepares soca, a chickpea flour pancake that is a favorite snack. Olive oil is used in this local cuisine, and olives are added to many dishes. I am here to meet Aurélie Garcin, who sells a superb variety of their farmhouse goat cheese, including one of my favorite little cheeses called Banon. I am curious to find out how it's made, and I'm invited to visit their family farm. Aurélie and her husband, Mathieu, milk their beautiful goats morning and evening. It is fascinating to watch them at work in this rustic barn. Le banon est un fromage que l'on fait avec du lait cru de chèvre de race alpine. Mathieu's dad is the cheesemaker and starts the process within an hour of milking by adding some rennet to the warm milk. This helps the separation of the curd and the whey. After cutting the curd into small pieces, the fresh cheese is placed in special molds to drain and then turn over several times to remove the excess whey. Once unmolded, the cheese is mature for about 10 days before Mathieu's mom, Noel, skillfully wraps each banon in several chestnut leaves and ties it neatly together. Et on le laisse affiner euh, une dizaine de jours dans ses feuilles de châtaignier pour donner une petite couleur mort dorée euh, et un goût particulier et typique euh, au fromage de banan. I cannot imagine a more appropriate place to taste this iconic baby cheese. Le banan est très goûteux. It's really a very flavorsome cheese. It is so delicious. It's a great cheese. On en mange énormément. <laughs> This Provençal chicken and capsicum casserole with olives is a local family favorite. First, I brown eight chicken drumsticks in a little olive oil with 12 baby potatoes. Then stir in two tablespoons of fresh rosemary and one diced onion and a little salt and pepper and cook for a few minutes. I then transferred the preparation to an oven dish to bake in the oven at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. Next, I drop three sliced capsicums in the pan and cook slowly for 20 minutes. For a contrast of textures and flavors, I like to use capsicums of different colors. I mix the cooked chicken and potatoes with the capsicums and garnish with black olives. This poulet au poivron et olives is very appetizing and my family loves it. Tomorrow I am in the Savoy region visiting a stunning vineyard that produces some super breads. <laughs>